in the previous uh, video, we were talking under the subject matter of uh, corpus or corpse. And uh, as we are familiar that the, uh, the army, of course, uh, will sometimes use the term GIs for their people in the army who have actually volunteered in. So uh, we're going to just uh, look at it. I'm, I'm reading uh, the definition of GI out of uh, a browser's dictionary. So you can look this up if you get a chance or find the book. GI, government issue. GI can, a standard issue garbage can. An enlisted man was the second definition, especially in the army. The term in sense two evolved sometime after World War I, becoming standard in World War II to express the civilian soldier's new sense of himself as a piece of disposable government property. Of regular army non-cons, the ex-civilian was fond of saying, he wasn't born, he was issued. Now, I remember seeing an advertisement in a Toronto newspaper when they were running out of, I guess, volunteers or qualified staff for the army. They put an advertisement up, and I believe it was on the front page of the newspaper, where all it held was a middle-aged individual holding up a birth certificate and saying, this is all you needed to get in. All you needed was that issue. So you can understand how the word issue relates to it. When they said they don't believe they were born, their new belief is that they were issued. And so the, that form uh, that's there definitely uh, relates to the war, the darkness, uh, the violence uh, that the legal world presents.